Hi, welcome to Get A Brew. Today I just want to take a few moments and talk about hydrometers. Um, very quickly covering what is a hydrometer, why we use hydrometers, what we use them for, and a few tips on how to, how to use them practically. This one's a Stevenson & Reeves branded hydrometer. We support them. They're a local company based in Scotland. And the packaging comes in like this, so it's a plastic tube with instructions sleeved within it and a little stopper on the bottom. So take the stopper off, that doubles up to become uh, your trial jar. You pull your instructions out, that tells you how to read it. Um, make sure you're taking the reading on a flat surface. So this is the instrument, so what is a hydrometer? It's basically a glass measuring tool and by saying it's a glass measuring tool it's measuring the density of water or in brewing terms the sugar content in your beverage and lets you know the starting gravity or original gravity that your recipe dictates 1.000 is the density of water and if you drop your hydrometer into your trial jar to take a reading from your brew the less dense the water is the more it'll sink and obviously if it's a higher density than water, then it goes up the way. But what we're wanting to focus on here is when you're brewing, whether that be brewing with beer, wine or cider, you're wanting to have a starting gravity or an original gravity, which means the sugar content at which fermentation begins. And a little tip on that point, always take your gravity reading before you add yeast, and because that can affect the reading. So let's start with the base level of testing water. It's one point treble zero is what your water will be. The increments that go up from that are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. The increments in between the one point treble zero and the 10 are broken down into points of two. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten. If you drop this in and it goes down to say 10, 62, so that's going to be one zero up here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then the little line below that is 10, 62. Now, when I say the line, that's the, the level of the liquid that's touching the hydrometer device. We're wanting to take the reading from the lowest point that it touches. So if it's curved, we're, we're, we're taking the reading from where the curve touches, that's important. So why is it important as home brewers that we use this instrument? So a hydrometer is used for two reasons for me. So the first one is to monitor the fermentation process so you can tell that fermentation is active by measuring the sugar content with a hydrometer. So you have your original or starting gravity. You've got that documented down. You've taken that reading before yeast is pitched. Then during fermentation, if you find after a few days that you feel there's been an active fermentation, you want to check and see if it's complete. What happens during fermentation very basically is that the yeast eats the fermentable sugars and turns it into carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide bubbles out through your airlock. You then want to take another gravity reading and it will show that the density has changed. It's to do with the sugar content and density. So if your original reading is 1062, if active fermentation is taking place as time goes on, that will slowly start to come up. Now, this is an average um, term for beer for home brewer. So Beer finishes usually at 1.007 to 1.015. Now different beer styles will, will, will fluctuate above and below that, but I'm just using this as a generic term. So if you're monitoring and taking readings, you can then see whenever it's ready for final gravity or when you achieve final gravity, then you know it's safe to continue the packaging. The reason you're using a hydrometer is that you're, you know when fermentation is complete and when you're ready to proceed to the next stage. The last thing we want as home brewers to do is start bottling our beer before fermentation is complete and then fermentation to continue in the bottle and that would create then a build up of pressure and, and obviously there could be dangerous consequences if that's at the upper end of that mistake. So hydrometer is an important tool for those two reasons. If you've recorded on your brew sheet the starting gravity and you've recorded the final gravity you can use there's lots of online software if you google you know ABV calculator if you use some of the brands I personally uh, quite like Brewers Friend I have it on my phone use it so you put in your starting gravity and you put in your final gravity and it spits out the ABV for you straight away 
or you can do the calculation yourself the original minus the final gravity and multiply that by 132.715 and that gives you the ABV of your beverage. Just a little point on this instrument. It's not like a thermometer. So a thermometer, for example, you drop your spirit thermometer into your, your brew to take the temperature and the temperature rises with the mercury rising up through the instrument. This works in a totally different way. So the as the sugar content changes in the sample that you're taking, the actual device physically moves up and down in the water due to the difference in the sugar content. Yeah. So if we take a sample of water, the reason I'm using this, like there's other of these set here, so we sell trial jars, we sell plastic ones, we sell alcohol tolerant ones, all things. We've used that as our sample tube and we put a sample of 50 mils in. It should come up roughly two thirds of the way up. And then, as I had said, it's a good it's a good idea to um, spin the hydrometer as it goes in to disperse any bubbles. And there you can see that the gravity reading. So we're taking this from where the bottom part touches, and yes, the liquid's slightly curved, but it is just touching just below the one point zero zero zero. There's great instructions how, how to use a hydrometer and a few tips in the inside of all of our hydrometers that we go out. We recommend that you familiarise yourself with them instructions. Do this simple test that I've just done. Um, take 50 mils of water, fill it up two thirds of the way, spin your hydrometer, drop it in. Become familiar with how to use the instrument and if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out and ask us because it's in our interest that you brew successfully and consistently. Thanks so much for watching today and happy brewing. Thank you.